Hi Taurus, welcome and you're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot and this is going to be your reading for the upcoming week. Taurus, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter and Sun. Let's see what messages we have for you. Reverse the rules if needed, switch the cases. This may not be your reading entirely, right? Okay. Okay. We have Queen of Wands and Five of Cups. Some past memories or some regrets about a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Mm -hmm. Spilled cups, maybe some things didn't go well with this person or um, suddenly something from the past has got resurfaced. Aries, Leo, Sag energy, right? For some of you, this can be that from few days, you were feeling confident, you were feeling good, you were feeling excited, but suddenly something happened and it changed your energy, right? Wheel of Fortune, some major transformation is happening in your life and probably this Five of Cups is a part of it. You know how awakening comes? With a bang, with a big bang, right? Okay. Taurus. Mm -hmm. Nine of Swords. Yes, you're worried about this person. Maybe about this person or because of this person, Taurus. But there are definitely some worries on your mind. Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. Are you thinking too much about past? Or is it just that uh, you were building something, you were doing something, and now you regret it? But more of it, it's just water under the bridge. But still some memories are there. Still uh, those thoughts are there. Situation is over, but you're still thinking about it. Something has got resurfaced for some of you. We have Nine of Pentacles here independent confident single for some of you this can be single energy also right major thoughts once again okay three of cups so uh, this can be a meeting reconciliation for some of you i don't really pick up uh, three of cups as reconciliation but this is more like coming together seeing this person again meeting this person again can be past friendship can be past uh, bond i'm picking up you used to enjoy with this person nine of pentacles but for some of you i'm majorly picking up that this is more about uh, there were moments that you enjoyed with this person but probably it got out of bonds and for the rest of you, this can be that in a meeting, in a, in a gathering, in some kind of environment, you are again seeing this person, right? Some thoughts, some memories, this can be friend circle. Okay, some, okay, we have the star here. And the nine of cups, upside down, right? Reversed. So something is definitely this sudden resurface, this sudden get together, getting back together for some of you, meeting, it's not going well with you. I think you're not happy about it. You're hoping for something definitely, but you're not happy about it. Some information, maybe uh, your friends are telling you something about this person or you, you're getting to know something about this person and you're feeling very bad about it. I see nine of cups reversed, nine of swords, five of cups. And you're hoping to correct something and you're hoping to uh, release something. You want things to get over. Six of Cups, yes. Some past energy here. Knight of Swords here. Definitely something related to past has got resurfaced. Or some information, some uh, message. I don't really feel that this person has contacted you. For some of you, it can be possible. But for the rest of you, I see some some information about this person has got resurfaced or you have just or you have just received some information through a family gathering through a get together through people you know common people and you're not very happy about it okay taurus nothing Seven of Swords. There are secrets. For some of you, I'm picking up uh, Taurus that this is kind of sabotage energy. I also feel that you don't want to face something again. You want to run away. Nine of Pentacles. You want to feel independent of it. 
maybe you attained your independence after so much effort and uh, the situation was over and you were like relieved after so long but now when the situation is getting resurfaced you're probably not happy about it and you want to escape from the situation somehow right there can be some secrets that you don't want this person to know there can be some uh, feeling that i don't want to face this person person i'm sorry it can be past love past lover um for some of you you met new but new person and you're planning to get involved with that person king of wands again strong fire energy i see that you both at some moment of time shared a very passionate connection right ace of wands king of wands page of wands i'm sorry queen of wands right and two of cups it was intense it was full of love and passion and now you don't want to see that again because of some reason let us clarify further what's happening here we're going to clarify cards right knight of cups yes this is compassion this is love can be an apology can be a message simply a compliment from someone right now you want to escape something by making it a compassionate conversation right i really feel that you're not willing to indulge into the situation for now but you want to make a kind of compromise here compassionate compromise it's like apologizing or uh, giving a compliment making a humble contact again and then this, i don't see this as love offer honestly i see this is a compassionate effort to escape something right we have ace of wands yes the passion is strong you can face this person again this person can come in front of you again and something can ignite or reignite i'm picking up some past person is reigniting your passion here for most of you i'm picking up that you don't want it to happen but uh, the, it is intense right and especially the way they're coming in front of you six of pentacles okay i strongly feel you don't want to put in the effort your effort um you might be feeling that i need to put in minimal effort or at the same time it's like i just want to give as much as required i don't want to overdo something here i don't want to overdo anything i don't want to um it's like your effort here right uh, you you somehow know that there won't be any effort from the other person's side there won't be any reciprocation in the situation but still you want to uh, take it to some kind of level with compassion right i i seriously don't feel that you are looking for a relationship per se hermit there are some uh, unresolved emotions on picking up with this person taurus there are some unresolved past issues or emotions let's see what next oh beautiful we have two of pentacles definitely juggling confused now this can be a situation that you're putting in too much effort here and you're yourself juggling with that you know uh you are giving it to the other person but somehow you feel that do i have it sufficiently for myself how can i give it to this person so maybe that's why you want your effort your charity work your input to be minimal because uh, i think you're still struggling with something here this is some kind of struggle and towards the end i do see happiness i do see um beautiful jolly energy here it's like sun rising and the darkness is getting resolved darkness is uh, Wow, we have Ace of Cups also here. Let us clarify a few cards, Taurus, and let us see how things are moving on here. Something is definitely reigniting a past passion or something that was over. But for most of you, I'm picking up that you don't want to go there because somehow you feel that it's not sufficient for you. How can you invest somewhere else? okay taurus moon rising venus jupiter and sun what is this matter of regret what is this five of cups energy we have three of swords something broke your heart in past seven of cups and you're very confused about it you know what for most of you i'm picking up that it's hard to trust something again now the situation is getting resurfaced you can see snake you can see mask you can see dragon i do see that there is a lot uh, going behind the scenes at the same time i see there are a lot of things which are attracting you right now but you have to be aware of the snake and the mask i see somebody is still wearing a mask here 
Taurus. You have to be careful about it. Ten of Pentacles for some of you. Now you have moved on and you have a commitment. Now you have moved on towards something stable. Or uh, now where are you right now? It's very stable and grounded. Maybe your family environment is good. Where you're living, where you're working. Everything else is stable now. And this person is bringing in some kind of bad, bad past memories I'm picking up. Nine of Swords. What is worrying here? What is so uh, worrisome here? Queen of Swords can be somebody um, very angry, can be, I'm sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. This can be your partner. This can be somebody who's very annoyed, angry. Strength, okay? Okay. Three of Wands. I see a Queen of Swords here, somebody very strong, authoritative, making stands and uh, it's like backing you. I see strength energy. This person is giving you strength. This person is giving you some kind of support here can be your new partner, can be somebody who is very annoyed by the resurfacing of the situation, but at the same time, they're supporting you. Three of Wands. I see a kind of energy, Taurus, where um, you feel disillusioned. Three of Wands energy, turning away from everything and looking for the sun to rise. But trust me, it is about to rise here, sun energy. We have the world. Some chapter is ending. Some, some I should say some, some chapter is ending or some... Um, checkpoint is going to be achieved this week in the situation i'm picking up what is this three of cups energy for taurus what is this three of cups energy for taurus we have again knight of rods five of cups and the nine of wands in reverse it's like you're giving up on something you have so much regret about the past here, Taurus. Maybe you were uh, uh, quite passionate in past. You were excited in past, in and out energy. For some of you, way long ago, it was clearish energy and you had fun with this person. You enjoyed, you dated. But something is there about the past which is no more existing and you regret about it, right? We have Nine of Wands reversed, letting go of your... Um, stubborn attitude or defensive attitude something again something that you were holding on to in past releasing it letting it go hermit twice we have seen hermit twice in the reading what is this nine of cups reversed what is making you feel so unhappy okay my god we have the Knight of Swords here, some annoyed conversation. We have the Fool, the Knight of Cups and the Temperance, right? And at the same time, we have here Eight of Cups, the World, I'm sorry, Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So what is making you unhappy? You're walking away from something very dissatisfied. In past, I pick up that you were trying to build something in this situation. From Eight of Cups to Nine of Cups reversed, you're no more satisfied here and you want to walk away, right? I see a lot of compassion, self-love and support coming towards you from the universe. This can be the people surrounding you or the people you love. A Knight of Pentacles, something very stable is initiating here. You can call it as some kind of support from the people in your surroundings. I see loved ones here giving you strength, giving you support. When they see you that you are no more able to hold on to something, I see a lot of supportive people in your surroundings. At the same time, we have the Fool, the Knight of Cups and the Temperance. I see Sagittarius energy, Knight of Cups twice and the Fool energy. Do you know what, uh, Taurus, I feel that other than this situation here, other than this past situation, uh, can be recent past, can be something that happened way long ago, but now it's getting resurfaced because of some reason. I see that you have a lot of love in your surroundings, right? Other than this situation, you have a lot of love. There are people who are offering love to you. There are people who are giving you compassion. They want you to have new beginning with them, right? I see love and compassion and support in your environment. All right, Knight of Swords. Let us clarify the King of Cups. I'm sorry, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Two of Cups. Okay, beautiful. Again, love in your surroundings, companionship, beautiful bond, support. Okay, tower. Okay, maybe this is what is happening is very unexpected and you have beautiful compassion and loving partnership in your surroundings. Maybe that's the reason we have King of Cups here. Okay, what else? Hierophant, Taurus energy, your energy. You know what, uh, Taurus, I'm picking up here a wonderful message. 
I see a partnership on the horizon. I don't know it is already there or it is coming up this week. This can be someone who is very supportive, very wisdom very uh, knowledgeable full of wisdom but at the same time this person is very supportive to your cause whatever is happening in the situation i see some something very unexpected can happen this can be a tower moment for your partnership this can be something that can totally shook the foundation of your connection for the time being but the important message here is that it won't shatter your relationship it won't shatter your connection rather it is going to bring in compassion and love back some kind of support some kind of partnership is actually going to help you sail through this tough moment or this uh, past situation which is worrisome right judgment here what is the 6 of pentacles what is the 6 of pentacles energy for for us okay we have a lot of cards we have judgment again Eight of Swords and the Chariot. So there will be a judgment call for us if this is a legal situation, if this is something related to a matter of uh, some past getting resurfaced, something rising from the ashes. This is going to cause uh, this uh, Eight of Swords energy for a moment. You might feel blindfolded. You might feel confused. As we can pick up from all the cards, I see there will be moments where you will slip into dark for a few minutes, few hours. You might feel very saddened about it. but there are there are people in your surroundings who are going, who are going to help you sail through the situation we have chariot here and nine of cups i see that there are people who are going to push you towards your victory the people who are going to help you sit back on your chariot and be victorious here why are you struggling what is this uh, card of two of pentacles what is this two of pentacles energy here Okay. Knight of Swords. Yes, there's anger, there's frustration. There can be some angry conversation, fast rushing conversation towards the end of this week about the situation. What else? We have a uh, King of Swords. Okay, King of Swords and Queen of Swords. There's definitely a um, very intense connection uh, which is in the question right now. I see this is more about past. You might not even be happy about it anymore. but there was passion five of swords i'm sorry five of swords energy mind games cheating planning plotting this passion is coming at a cost i'm picking up a lot of uh, mind games story behind the scenes kind of energy okay a lot of cards we have a uh, six of wands of course this will be a graceful movement out you're going to be successful but moon energy world energy five of swords and four of pentacles so uh taurus i see some kind of insecurity some kind of fears and some kind of uh, defensive feeling in the energy especially when you don't trust the people in your surroundings right i see there's a specific person fire sign or the people associated with this fire sign who are resurfacing who are coming back to your uh, surroundings and you feel threatened there's a feeling of feeling insecure there's a feeling of being manipulated there's a feeling of uh, being cheated but you know what the best part is that the cycle is coming back because it has to end right the cycle is coming back to uh, life because some things were um, unresolved some issues were unresolved some feelings were in unresolved i'm picking up for some of you there was a passion that uh, probably caused a lot of problem in your surroundings maybe there was someone who was very passionate about you someone was addicted to you and they caused a lot of mess in the situation i think the cycle is coming back to you 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 call it karma you call it uh, energy cycle this is coming back because it has to end correctly this time in in past it did not end properly and uh, we have the moon you might feel disappointed for a moment when it comes back maybe this is the kind of past that you don't want to listen to again this is the kind of past memories that you don't want to get resurfaced or anybody to know about it you might feel bad about it disappointment there are a lot of cards of disappointment insecurity and defensiveness but you know what this is how universe works if we give out something it has to come back to us this is the energy cycle and uh, until we finish it we resolve it in the correct manner it will keep coming back to us So maybe this is the point when the cycle has to end. This business has to end. Whatever this is, it has to get over, and that's why it's 
probably something happening for your good, right? This has to end completely and that's why it's getting resurfaced. Let us have some messages for, see, milk and honey, Taurus. Messages for Taurus, please. Wow, we have deep knowing. So deep within your heart, you know why this thing is happening. Your intuition is guiding you on the right path. For some of you, this can be that you have to make some amends. You have to correct some past doings. Somebody was wrong in the picture. Maybe you were wrong. Somebody broke your heart or maybe the other person was wrong and you broke their heart. Something was not right. Something did not end correctly. And this cycle is coming back because it has to get completed, right? And uh, you might feel threatened for a moment, but trust me, listen to your intuition. It's happening for your good, right? We also have here and now. Again, past is here. Past is something that has already gone <laughs> future is something yet to come you're not aware of it you are living in the present so you're being suggested that live in the present do not worry about the past do not think about the future complete what is there in your hands right now and if something is coming back to you in the present it is because you have to wind it up for a better future right so do not worry at all taurus reading is somehow taking you towards to some positive endings i see beautiful support partnership and love coming your way this week if you're already in a relationship i see a beautiful support from your relationship or from your or from the people you love and the people who love you and whatever the situation is it is meant to get mm. over and that's why it is getting resurfaced right so uh, this is the reading i'm getting for you guys thank you so much for watching Bye bye